Hello, this is Jabari Long from Long Realty Group in Detroit, Michigan. We're here at, on Dale Street. This is the final day. All the repairs have been completely done. We're going to walk you through so you can take a look at it. Come on. Living room, carpet is down. Um, this is one of the rooms that we did not have to paint because uh, the people who had the property previously uh, did a lot of work. So this room was left the way it is. We just cleaned it up a little bit, put the carpet and the blinds up. This is uh, the dining room. Um, same thing here, new carpet, uh, put a new light fixture up. And then we went through and changed all the, the switches in the house to do these decor uh, light switches. They look a little bit better, give a modern feel. And that's what this uh, particular investor requested for this property. Now we're in the kitchen. Uh, if you remember from the first day, this floor was already down here. So we kept that. Um, we decided not to uh, replace the kitchen cabinet, so we just put these uh, handles on it just to give it a little bit more decorative feel. Um, cleaned it up a little bit, put a new light fixture up there, and the kitchen was complete. We did put a new vanity in here, um, a new uh, medicine cabinet, new light fixture. We cleaned up the toilet, used the existing toilet, and we used the existing tub. Uh, cleaned up everything, made it usable, and uh, that's what we did in this house. And we also updated the switches to the GFI uh, plugs that uh, you use around water. And this is one of the rooms that we had to paint. Uh, it was actually was a, a, a hole put in the ceiling. Uh, it was actually more uh, rotted wood back there. And, you know, in construction, things happen. So we patched that and um, redid the ceiling, put a new light fixture up, and painted the room. In this room, uh, this is where that big uh, uh, piece of drywall had to be removed because of the extensive water damage that was uh, done by the roof. So we put a new piece of drywall up, patched it in, fused it into the ceiling, painted it, put a new light fixture up, of course carpeted the whole house. And if you recall from uh, day one, there was a, uh, the, the floor was buckled in here. So we patched that up, looks like it never happened. Now we're going up to the third bedroom. This is uh, actually called the bungalow part. Um, it's pretty common in these Detroit properties. And this is what you would call the master bedroom. Uh, didn't do much up here, carpeted, made sure the uh, closets had door handles, put a smoke detector up. Um, and that was pretty much it up here. We're here in the basement on Dale Street. If you remember from the first day, there was a bunch of uh, just loose wires hanging here. We had an electrician come through and put a 100 amp breaker box in and actually uh, uh, provide electricity for the property. You see here the uh, new block windows. These are uh, decorative and also uh, a lot of people like them because they make the basements a little bit more secure than the regular glass windows. Um, over here, you got the new hot water tank installed and also the new PEX plumbing uh, throughout the basement. You got the blue for the cold lines and the, the red for the uh, hot lines. This is actually a lot less expensive than copper plumbing. Got a new uh, uh, laundry tub, uh, shut off valves, new faucet. This is where the, uh, the renters uh, wash and dryer would go in this area. The, the people who had the property prior to uh, this investor buying it, they painted the walls and painted the floor, so we didn't um, redo that because the paint was adequate. We're in the backyard on Dale Street. Um, we had some extensive landscaping done back here. If you recall, uh, the backyard had a bunch of shrubberies and trees. Uh, there was a big uh, uh, apple tree right here, which we had uh, cut down and the stump grinded. So now the backyard is wide open. We had the uh, a lot of the tree limbs cut around the fence line uh, looks like night and day back here so now the family can actually use the backyard the kids can play back here and uh, you know it's functional uh, you can see we uh the roof has been done uh, back here was the, uh, the, the 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 vast majority of the damage of the roof we got the 30 year dimensional shingles on there the black onyx shingles looks good This is the end of uh, the Dale Street project. 
Um, as you can see, the property is completely done from top to bottom. Um, it is in its rentable or sellable condition right now. Um, this is a brick bungalow, which is uh, a lot of the vast majority of properties in Detroit are brick bungalows or ranches. Uh, most of the foreclosures now are in this condition. Some of them may be a little bit worse, but nothing that we haven't seen before and dealt with at Long Realty Group. Um, we have the expertise to go through these properties and get them all done in usually seven days or less. I haven't seen a property yet that we couldn't complete in a renovation in less than 14 days. Um, we, we have a, a lot of skilled people on our crews. Everybody has a, a identified role and they perform that well.